Right, hello all. So basically, if you're one of the unfortunate who is experiencing this issue with a grider display that basically comes up with an error and yeah, motor isn't spinning because the controller has an error 30 and it's got bricked with the firmware version of the egg rider 2.7.4.5 so today i'm gonna just basically try to show you quickly how can you basically fix um, your controller without getting a replacement on contacting your manufacturer for support so all right um today we're gonna be using the stc tool i'm gonna be using the version 6.8.7 because, well, to be honest, for me, it works the best. I will be using one of the firmwares um, that basically 52 volt and allows a 30 amp to be set in the controller and works with the egg rider and with uh, basically the uh, most of the Bafang uh, controllers. So the first thing what we need to do, we need to press open code file and select the firmware file. We need to make sure the max bound is set to 57600. Input RC frequency 18432. Remember, don't mix this number because some people might think because this is not a fully stock firmware, you can use 20,000 megahertz frequency like on open source firmware, but that is incorrect. You need to use this as a stock one. So the first thing is what we're gonna do. We need to make sure to read the MCU of the controller. So we press check MCU. And at the same time, we power on basically the controller. And as we can see here, it comes up complete and it gives us the controller uh, MCU basically type. So now we're gonna power off the controller again. And for the next process, we basically plug, uh, select download program and power back on the controller. And basically, it's gonna what we're gonna do is gonna erase the MCU flash and uh, flash the new firmware, erasing all the errors that are, con uh, are actually in it. So we just need to basically wait until this is done. After that, um, it's advisable to basically power off the controller and power on, just basically like uh, you would do uh, Windows installation, <laughs> restart the computer. So in here is the same. So as you can see in here, it shows that everything's complete. Um, no errors has occurred. So what we're gonna do now is gonna power off and plug in our egg rider display. Right, so now we have a rider plugged back in. Um, power is on. So let's just power on the egg rider. And as we can see, no errors are coming up on the display. So now basically I'm uh, gonna try to show you uh, that the motor runs without any issues. So we pull the throttle, as you can see the motor is running and the egg rider is showing no problems at all. So yeah, no issues. Um, so yeah, that's how you fix your brick controller. If you have an egg rider V2 display, um, that should work with the C1 as well. Um, I've never heard that anyone had any issues with breaking up uh, basically the controller with the C1. So if you have these issues, just let me know. We'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Have a good day.